Hey everyone, welcome to another Photoshop editing tutorial. In this video, we are going to create a vibrant, glowing golden hour image using mostly the camera raw editor, but also a little bit of Photoshop just to finish the image. If you want to follow along, feel free to download the raw file. You can find the link to it in the description of the video. And now let's begin. As always, we are beginning with the raw adjustments in the camera raw editor and first off I'm changing the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Landscape which will bring up the saturation but also make the darkest areas a little brighter which is especially visible right there in the foreground. Now let's expand the basic panel and for the white balance I do want to slightly bring down the temperature while also raising the tint quite a bit. This will introduce some of our magenta tones, which I think will look pretty good for a sunset shot like this. Now, looking at the histogram, you can see we do have a little bit of underexposure, but other than that, we do have a lot of details, especially in the highlights, which is quite nice. So to fix the exposure, I want to brighten up the image by bringing up the exposure itself and let's raise it quite a bit. This will give us a lot more details in those dark areas in the foreground, but of course the sky is now pretty much blown out. To counter this problem, I'm bringing down the highlights. And there we have the details back in the sky. That looks pretty good. Also, this leads to some kind of glowing effect around the tree, which I really really like for this situation. To further improve this effect, I'm going to bring up the shadows. This will nicely affect the tree in the center, so that looks great. Now we can probably further bring up the whites just a little bit without risking overexposure, just to give the image some more brightness. Also, to give everything a softer look, I am going to bring up the blacks very slightly as well. Just like that. Perfect. As I said in the intro, I want this to be a very soft glowing image and to work on that soft look I'm going to drop the texture just a notch as well as the clarity. And then let's bring up the vibrance for more saturation. Perfect. And with just a bunch of basic adjustments we have turned this very underexposed image into this vibrant sunset shot. But of course we can tweak it a little further by using some masking. I guess I want to start with the foreground. So let me just create a linear gradient. I am going to cover it very very roughly like this. But of course I don't want to affect the sky. So in this case I'm going to say subtract. And here I'm going to choose select sky. With that selection I'm going to bring up the exposure even further. And I'm also going to add a lot of contrast. Then we could work on the colors a bit. Right now I have the feeling the foreground is a little bit too blue. So I'm going to bring up the temperature slightly. And I'm also going to drop the tint. Which gives the foreground a stronger green color tone. Finally I want to bring down the saturation. I don't want the foreground to look like a toxic green, more like a subtle vibrant green tone like this. Then let's go on and create a linear gradient for the top part of the sky. I'm going to use this and drop the exposure just to get some darker sky at the very top. And then I do want to work on the glow. Here I'm just using a radial gradient. I'm going to make it very wide and very thin. Make sure the center is outside the image to get a more natural effect. And here I'm simply bringing up the blacks. I also want to introduce some more temperature just to make this area warmer. And just give this spot a very strong golden color tone. Alright, for some further glow we could bring down the clarity. And bring down the dehaze. Perfect. Now let's do some more work on the colors on the horizon level. I'm going to create a radial gradient. This time I'm making it a little bigger however. This should be good. Again I'm introducing some blacks. And some more temperature for stronger yellow tones in here. Perfect. 
then let me see i do think i'm going to add another linear gradient gs for the top left part of the sky here i do want to bring up the saturation some more so we can see those blue tones a little better and finally i am using a linear gradient for the very near foreground like this here i'm bringing down the exposure and thus I'm creating some kind of vignetting effect leading the eye more towards the center of the image. Besides dropping the exposure, I can also bring up the clarity a bit just for some more detail, but that looks fine. And that's the image after the masking adjustments. So you can see we have added a little more contrast with some artificial vignetting and the glow effect is included as well. So that looks great. Next up, let's do some color grading and I'm starting in the color mixer tab with the hue. I want to work some more on those sunset tones, so I'm starting by bringing up the red hue, which will give this guy some orange tones. At the same time, I'm going to drop the orange hue and the yellow hue. Again, this will lead to stronger orange tones in the sky, which is what I'm aiming for. Then we can bring down the green hue as well, just to reduce the green tones in the foreground a bit. And let's bring up the aqua tones. That looks good. Let's switch over to the saturation. Here I'm bringing up the red, orange, yellow, green and blue saturation. Perfect. Looks much much better I think. Now we can tweak this a little more with the split toning for the highlights. Let's go on and add a very strong warm color tone. First I'm going to pick the hue. That's looking like a good color. Let's bring up the saturation a lot. At this point I do think those highlights right here are a little too strong. So what I can do here is to just bring down the luminance very very slightly. And thus there's just no more hotspot going on in the sky. It's much more pleasing to look at. Then for the midtones, I'm going with a cold color tone. So let's first pick the hue, bring up the saturation and switch over to the shadows and just do the same thing. Cold color tone for the hue and a low amount of saturation. Perfect. Now I could tweak this a little more, giving the highlights some more of those warmer color tones by simply bringing up the balance. So this tells Photoshop to just focus more on the highlights, giving them more strength while reducing the strength of the split toning on the shadows. I think that looks great. One more thing I want to do for the color grading is in the calibration tab. I just want to bring down the hue and raise the saturation again. So that's looking like a really good image already. One more thing I want to do in the camera raw, raw editor is the sharpening of course. Here yeah, I'm bringing down the radius, increase the details, add some masking and then of course some more sharpening. And that's the image after the raw adjustments. Almost perfect, just a few more things to do in Photoshop. So let's open up this object. First off, I'd like to clean up this image. So let me just duplicate that layer by pressing Ctrl J. Now I'm zooming in and I do want to have a very straight horizon. That shouldn't be a big problem. Let's see. I'm first going to try the spot healing brush and brush over things I want to remove from the horizon. Now on those bigger patches, I'm going to use the clone stamp tool because that's just the way faster. All right, the left side looks much better. Oh, there's a little bit to do on the right side as well. Shouldn't be a big deal, however. Okay, I really like how this looks. Next up, let's work on the glow. For the glow effect, I'm using a new layer and I'm switching the blending mode to hard light. If you don't want to have a heavy glow effect, I would suggest to go with the soft light blending mode, but I'm going to aim for a very, very strong glow effect. And I want to make it yellow just in, like in this area of the sky. So maybe I'm changing the hue up a little bit. But I think that looks like a good color tone. Also, I'm going to bring down the brush opacity. And then let's zoom in a bit. Just 
carefully paint in some more glow, especially around the tree. I think I could maybe increase the saturation of the color some more. Just painting along the horizon here. All right, I'm quite happy with how this looks. Then I do think I need to work on the color some more. Therefore, I'm going to the adjustment layers and here I'm using, let's see, I think I'm going with color balance. Now in the color balance menu, I'm going to choose the highlights and I'm just going to introduce some more reds and maybe some blues to the highlights. That is looking much, much better and gives us some more intense sunset colors. We could even work on the shadows, giving them some more green tones and some more blue tones. Perfect. Then I do want to merge everything. So I'm going to hit Control Shift Alt E, which will put every single layer into a new layer up here. And on this layer, I'm going to use the filter Nick Collection Fix Pro 4 plugin. I do want to use a bunch of different effects here and the first thing I'm using is the polarization effect which will just make the colors a little more intense. So that's looking quite good. Next up let's go on and add another filter. This time let's choose Brilliance Warmth and I'm just bringing up the saturation a bit as well as the warmth. And then one more thing I want to add is the classical soft focus effect. Of course, the first preset method is way too strong. So I'm going to drop it down to the third one. Maybe reduce the strength and the brightness. So that's looking really good. Let's apply it like this. At this point, I do want to add a little bit of dodging and burning. So let's go apply new layer, switch the blending mode to overlay. For the dodging and burning, as usual, I'm using the TK Panel plugin. This plugin is a paid plugin, but there is a free version available. So I would suggest to get it because this plugin is very, very helpful. I want to dodge the shadows first. So I'm activating the layer mask mode and I'm going with the shadows too. Activate the brush again, set the foreground color to black and I'm going to increase the brush opacity some more. And now I'm just slightly brushing in some more darkness on this image. Also maybe in the sky, but that looks really good already. Now let's see, I think I need to adjust the overall saturation some more. I'm going to use a vibrance adjustment layer for that. And I'm just bringing down the vibrance a bit and I'm going to invert this layer mask by hitting Ctrl I. Then let's set the foreground color to white and with the brush tool, I'm going to brush over the foreground since this area is a little too saturated for my taste at the moment. At this point, we could add another adjustment layer, this time the photo filter, which will just give us some more warmth. I think this fits quite nice on this shot. Maybe again, mask out the foreground to keep some colder colors in here as well. But at this point, I'm really happy with this image. So let's stop with the editing. I hope this tutorial was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you guys very much for watching this video.